my honeybees, well, I'm gonna have to start charging you for the pleasure. If I come out one more time and find you lolling out there amongst my hives, I'm grabbing my shotgun. Answer your question? Yes. My days in beekeeping school are a blur. But I do seem to remember something about that enzyme you keep blabbing on about. What's up everyone, Premium Success here, and welcome back to part 6 of our underwater adventure in Rapture. This is one of those shorter levels, the Farmer's Market, and I kind of wondered why they called this the Farmer's Market, because there is nothing in this level that represents a farm in any way except for maybe like a cheese thing that you'll see here and there once in a while. But I don't know, I always kind of wondered where the food came from in Rapture, you know, like people have to eat. The thing that I could think of that they could basically eat is fish, since they're underwater. But, I don't know, I'm just guessing. They do actually have bees that they were keeping that you guys will see a little bit later in the level. I'm assuming for like honey or something. I don't know, I'm guessing they just, they just basically eat each other now. Even though we haven't seen that yet. They kind of seem like they'd be cannibals though. I don't know, at the same time they kind of seem to coexist peacefully, except for when they see me, they just want to hack me to death or shoot the crap out of me. Fucking jerks. God, they're not very hospitable, are they, fellas? So, my aim is to complete the security camera research in this level, though I don't think that's going to happen because there's a little bit of research cameras. And we might be able to do it if we get a bunch of lucky A's and it boosts our research up quite a bit, but other than that I think we're going to have to wait until next level to actually complete it all the way, along with completing the spider splicers because there is an overabundance of them in that level, it's ridiculous. We should be able to get that done really quickly. We'll actually be showing you a little bit of a secret room I guess you could say with two automatic hack tools in this level. I, th I think it's kind of secretive, you can call it secretive. Children with their very long needles, their tuneless songs, their ghastly errands, their ghoulish Frankenstein fathers. But we've all placed our hand on the great chain of endeavor. My hand is on it. Fontaine's is on it. We all pull it and are pulled by it. Yes. These children are an abomination, but it is not my hand alone on the chain that created them. No, their little fingers were right there next to mine. So during that audio tape, we literally just flying ninja kangaroo superman drop kicked the hell out of that guy. And we're actually about to get this big daddy kill right here. There's only one little sister in this level, so... Yeah, that's good. We don't need to struggle with any big daddies. Like I said, this, this level is very, very short. It's really easy to just go through it really easily. When I confront him with this fatty, he tells me, Pierre, this is not to worry. The, the water, she is distilled. It could be worse. I could oh. take it right from the ocean. No. Oh. So, we already completed the Houdini Splicer and Turret research as you saw uh, at the beginning of this video. And before this video we have completed the Rosie, Leadhead and Thuggish Splicer, and the Security Bot. I think all we need from here is the Nitro Splicer and the Bouncer Big Daddy. And of course the Little Sisters. And I think I'm not missing anything. The little Sister is probably the only thing I can't farm, but I'm not really worried about it because you know, we still have a long way to go in the game, and once we get through this research, we can pretty much just smash these levels and get through them pretty quickly. Curses shall be the fruit of that. 
Down here there's actually a locked door. I don't actually know the code to it or if it even says the code anywhere in this level, so I pretty much just hack it. On my walk today I had my first encounter with Herobrum. He, a lumbering palooka in a foul smelling diving suit, and she, an unwashed moppet in a filthy pink smock. Her pallor was off, green and morbid. It was a rather unpleasant aspect to her demeanor, as if she were in an altogether different place than the rest of us. I understand the need for such creatures. I just wish I could make them more presentable. So this is a secret room, just a bunch of crap, and who saw me one hit or quitter the hell out of that thuggish splicer? I'm not gonna lie, this wrench looks like it could just bash somebody's skull in. The little sister's orphanage. In troubled times, give up! He deserves boarding and education free of trouble. After all, I'm children. a star, not you! Damn, I just fucked up. Can't knock her down though, but she just destroyed my health. God damn, I thought that freaking camera was gonna get me for a second. You gotta be shh, shh. I'm hunting bunny wabbits. You have to be quiet. We're gonna take the vents, guys. We're gonna take the vents. Take this cheese thing with me, too. Farmer's market, my ass. This is cheese. Wow, that just failed. Alright, Rock, do this for me. Alright, screw it. I'm just gonna walk through it. <laughs> None of that worked. Damn, did two, pe two people just totally hang themselves in here, huh? in a time of war. If Atlas and his bandits have their way, will they not turn us into slaves? And what will become a free will then? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Rumor is the tool of the past. Our pain is death. Now! Oh, Alrighty then, so this is the killer bees I was talking about. You can actually get those as a plasmid if you go into that gather's garden, but I just, I'm just gonna save all my, uh, atom to like the next level. Cause you basically gotta get everything upgraded, so there's really no point in wasting your atom in this level at all. I'm gonna auto hack this, this safe here. During this whole little spiel here, it's, you really gotta haul your ass. Or at least I'm hauling my ass. You can do it more than once, you know, sp smoke all the bees and stuff, but I didn't want to make this longer than it needed to be, so I just get seven uh, samples and I just pretty much get the hell out. The only thing valuable in here is, is that one safe. And time!
Miles will respect her, yes. If you do, best head to a crafting station. Then, head back to Langford's lab and put the whole witch's brew in the mister. That should clear this fog right up. From the sounds of that you invent, I'm guessing you're the proud papa of a brand new Lazarus Vector. Now drop the Vector into a gadget called Central Misting Control. Then we'll be cooking with gas. Alright, so just like that, we basically just created everything we needed to save the forest. And where am I? I'm trying to find this little jump down spot where, oh here it is. Where you can basically just jump down into a little cubby hole and you get ambushed, but you also get a bunch of crap. I think I'm going to add the second part of Arcadia to this video as well. It'll be really short anyway, you just gotta basically just defend yourself for a little bit and then bam, end of the level. And this level's pretty short already anyway, so... Take care of these guys, and then I think we just gotta find one upgrade station somewhere down here where I'm at. I have no idea where, I always get lost down here. I think there's only like eight audio diaries in this level, and I think we already got them all. And then there's one more back in Arcadia, but it's at the very end of it. Let me go back and I'll get that. But basically, once I find this upgrade machine, wherever it is, oh, I gotta hack this thing. So, what I was about to say um, before I hacked that thing and uh, did all the research on it, because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna edit that out. Uh, when, when this is all done recording and stuff is basically when I find this stupid upgrade thing wherever it is I am lost as hell right now um, I'm just going to um, edit it all out and basically just transfer you guys back into Arcadio uh, up in that room just you know you guys don't want to see me walk all the way back there and, and stuff like that so I'll just edit, edit that all out and uh, basically you guys will just magically teleport there up guys it's been like a very very long four to five minutes for me but it's gonna be like a very magical two three seconds for you guys but we're back in Arcadia right now we are back in the uh, the laboratories and we had put in the the little uh, save the trees little serum and uh, it's time to defend ourselves right now We gotta do is shut this little door and they'll send us a little care package and basically we'll just set a bunch of proximity rhymes all around the place and uh, try not to die. We have plenty of med kits so there's really no worries. Plus, if I remember correctly, I think we're all the way maxed out on money or at least close to it so you can always buy more. I think I also forgot to play an audio, so this is the one I'm playing. There's the audio there I forgot to play. Alright, so in about a quick five seconds, they're all gonna come pouring out at me, and there should be three waves. Never know which corner to hold out on. The biggest advice I can give to anyone who is, is stuck on this is just to make sure you have a crap ton of anti-personal rounds and that will help you out tremendously. 
Also try not to get to destroy all these turrets and, and that one security camera in the area because that'll help you out a lot too. Oh, I'm pretty sure nobody has this game, you know, you guys are just watching me play it and stuff. This game has been out for quite a long time. But this is a walkthrough, you know, so I can at least talk a little bit about, you know, helpful tips and stuff like that. Nonetheless, I do hope you guys are enjoying. I think after this level we'll be about halfway done with the game, maybe. The next couple levels are going to get very, very lengthy. That guy almost shot the crap out of me or something. But yeah, especially the next one, I might actually have to uh, split it into two parts because it is definitely a really big level, especially if I, you know, explore everything and try to look for all the audio diaries. It's going to take me quite a chunk of time. Okay, where are these guys? They just they spawn here, huh? I don't know how they spawn right there, there's like no spawning point. <laughs> they magically rise up from the water. Alright, one more wave and we are in good shape. We got seven medkits. Gonna pass this easily. No, I don't think this trick is going to work because I only have Electro Bolt 1. I didn't buy Electro Bolt 2, so let's see. Yeah, it didn't work. They didn't die. <laughs> they didn't die at all. Okay. That's not going to work. If you, did, if, if you did happen to have Electro Bolt 2, you could just hide up in that one corner and just continue just shocking the crap out of the water when an enemy just steps in it and it'll just kill all of them. By the way... No big deal. Gonna shoot more of them in the face, that's all. It should be done. Oh, there was a ding. Yep, we're done. Oh, Dini Splice is still alive though. This guy is tough as hell, I remember. He's all dressed up all nice too in his nice ass little freaking suit. Little asshole. He's teleporting like crazy right now. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave him to this trap, I think. Holy crap, that worked out so much better than I thought it would. He actually literally just teleported into it for me. Alright, let's go find that little freaking Houdini Splicer asshole dressed up in a freaking tuxedo. Here's that little asshole. Damn, he had RPGs seeking. He's seeking RPGs? Oh, what I was trying to say right there. Let's take a picture of the nice man. Alright. <laughs> oh, he left one alive. Well, guys, it's time to say goodbye to Arcadia. Say goodbye to the trees, because I don't think there's going to be a lot, a lot more of them, or any of them. But, see you guys all in the next one. It'll be Fort Frolic, and thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Why are you so resistant to the traditional methods of separating a man from his soul? You're not CIA, are you? You belong to Atlas. The one roach I can't seem to exterminate. Don't worry. I just need time to find the proper poison. I believe in no god. No invisible man in the sky. But there is something more powerful than each of us. A combination of our efforts. A great chain of industry that unites us. But it is only when we struggle in our own interest that the chain pulls society in the right direction. The chain is too powerful and too mysterious for any government to guide. Any man who tells you different either has his hand in your pocket or a pistol to your neck.